Well, thanks for visiting us here at ArkleTechsHomePage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Morses, and this is your Tuesday morning forecast update. Should be another comfortable weather day for us. The only major change will be uh, incoming cloud cover, which will leave us partly to mostly cloudy at times today. There will not be any rain today, but we do have a cold front, which will bring some rain on Thursday, especially Thursday morning. But it looks like we will be dry today. Your highs winding up in the low 70s, which is just about what we felt yesterday. You can see the clouds. There's a cold front that's moving out of the Rockies here, which has stirred up the cloud cover. There's uh, not going to be any rain out there early today or later today, but the clouds will just be decoration. So hopefully those give us a uh, pretty sunrise this morning and a great looking sunset tonight. Uh, don't have to worry about rain. Your temperatures on the cool side again. We are in the 40s, but the last few mornings we've had a number of locations in the 30s, so we're not quite as cold, but still a chilly morning. So make sure you have a jacket. And we do have some dense fog, which is uh, moving to the north here. You can see the fog has developed south of us, and it's just uh, being pushed to the north here by a light south breeze. So we do expect to see some dense fog maybe uh, south of I-20 in Texas and northwest Louisiana. The fog will be kind of patchy here across the northern Arkletex, but it will be out there in some locations through the morning commute. Highs today after starting out in the 40s, low 70s. So that's pretty uh, similar to what we felt yesterday. And you can see that frontal boundary, which is uh, back to the west of us. What will happen uh, next 24 hours or so, we will get a surge of Gulf air making its way in, which will uh, result in some of those clouds. And you'll especially see that uh, as we move through your Robbins Toyota Futurecast tomorrow. You can see that low-level uh, Gulf Air returning here. So we'll see more in the way of low-level clouds tomorrow, which uh, may probably keep us in the low 70s for at least one more day. It's possible we could see some rain in late Wednesday, but uh, more likely this front will be moving in Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. So this may be a overnight special for us. I think a lot of us will be sleeping as this front makes its way in. But we'll bring a few thunderstorms. We're not expecting any severe weather at this point, but we can't rule out maybe some gusty winds with a few of the storms here, which will exit pretty quickly on Thursday morning. So I think we'll salvage most of the day on Thursday. And the uh, rainfall projections have not changed. It still looks like we'll see about a quarter to a half inch of rain in most locations, which uh, unfortunately not enough to uh, put a dent in the drought conditions at your current drought monitor, which is showing moderate to severe drought across much of the region. So we need to get uh, more rain in here and more rain with frequency. Uh, unfortunately, that's our only shot of rain this week. But uh, the front will give us some great temperatures. We'll be in the 60s and 70s through the weekend. Overnight lows will be in the 40s. So uh, pretty comfortable weather for us. Another cold front early next week. Looks like it will move through late Sunday or early Monday. It will be a dry frontal passage, but it may cool us off a few degrees. Start out next week as well.